hello everyone welcome back to my channel as some of you know my name is gail i'm the owner of thebargainsden.com the host and creator of this channel the bargainsden studio so today we're doing the packaging of this sneaker the timberland pro at least i'm thinking that is a pro it's not that i had to do the research online i'm removing the plastic so we guys can see it together of course i've already done the inspection video and it wasn't listed long enough for me to have done anything stupid to it because usually things tend to get messed up while I wait for it to get sold or things tend not to get listed <laughs> once i clean that which is like is a funny thing about me because sometimes i will forget I will forget to well to finish the job but i'm trying to be better like i mentioned before i'm trying to make sure that i i'm just going around it like i usually do to make sure there's no loose anything i don't like false claim you know what i'm saying so i just making sure that the the sneaker everything nothing is broken so i'm just going it around it just to make sure you never know because sometimes People are people, and I cannot say that like they're gonna start an issue, but you never know. That's why I usually make sure that everything is on point. But anyway, I'm trying to be better and list accordingly. Of course, yesterday, since I listed on Sunday, I skipped yesterday because I listed on Sunday. So I mean not listed. I I did a video on Sunday and I'm trying to alternate the date. Although I wanted to do it Monday, Wednesday in friday so i get the weekends to prepare the next video so which one would be better so you guys can see everything is okay. well it's clean it's always clean let me wipe it down some more hold on a second let's be honest nothing i sell if i can help it will be dirty that's my plan nothing i sell will be dirty and like i mentioned i'm gonna try to start I'm gonna create a page on my website to do the sale, like you know, a different page, a, a different page to just start doing the sale thing. It's only gonna be on my website, obviously, not on eBay, Poshmark, Mercury, Warehouse. I saw a sale. It's gonna be on my website, and I'm gonna to try to balance it out the way I do some local. It's like at my storage when we do, we have in local sales, we put everything like for like really cheap. It's just local sales so local sales but at the same time i know i never really try to do it to be honest and because of shaping but i realize that if i want to move things more to an online thing where i can actually make time to go to school in between work i have to start taking it more serious and i have to come up with better idea and you guys already know i'm trying to organize so i can shape to haiti Haiti is always a mess. It's always a mess with everything going on. And I know that's not the right forum. I'm not going to even try to discuss it on the customer's packaging. I'm just going to leave it alone and discuss it in the next video. I'm going to discuss it in the next video. I'm just removing the plastic. So I get to use the, we use the plastic on another sneaker. So again, the inside, the flash is on so you guys can see everything clearly. And that's it. So what I was saying is, I'm not going to discuss anything, well, I'm going to try to behave and not discuss anything that has to do with Haiti, and, okay, still have stuff in it, anything that has to do with Haiti on the customer's video, even though I truly, truly, truly want to, because of everything that happened and everything that I found out, and like i was saying in one of my videos i'm gonna break a little bit of the promise and i'm gonna ask like again and that's a stupid question i mentioned it before it's not that hard to have a job and to work and to do anything i mean and then it is a long time and trust and believe i fell on my face so many times and that's why i'm still not understanding why why somebody cannot accomplish anything in the lot of time my little brother told me that different people, different mentality. I'm more of a work, worker bee. And I will always be a worker bee. I do not mind 
doing the hustle and doing whatever it takes to get to where I'm going. But some people would rather have it handed to them. And some people, regardless of the situation, they won't try to do better for themselves. They will always think there's an easy way to make a living. And there's never an easy way. You may succeed. But at the end of the day, you're going to fall on your face. And since it's fast money, fast money goes fast because you're always going to look, because you never really truly earn that honestly. So the thing is, since it wasn't earned honestly and it's fast money, you always have to figure out a way to get more. And my thing is, with that much of energy, why can't somebody work? I mean, am I wrong? Am I truly wrong? I mean, for you... And... The excuse that is Haiti or thing, you, you, a lot of people used to travel to the U.S. You effed up in the U.S. because the U.S., I hate to say it the way I'm going to say it, it's easy. Just do what you got to go do. Keep your head down. It's not an ego thing. Keep your head down. Go to work. It's, it, it, there's no secret formula. It's simple. Just go to work, make a living, and don't break the law. It's not that hard. I don't know why people think it's that hard. It's not that hard. Yes. Yes. You're going to have to sweat. You're going to have to yeah, sweat blood and tear. You're going to cry, but it's not that hard. Just walk. Because the one thing we never had, like in hopefully one day we will have in Haiti, is security. We don't have security. There's always a gang. There's always something. I mean, come on. Killing my brother for something that doesn't belong to you. And thinking that you're going to get it, it's effed up. And it's kind of sad because in eight years, you haven't accomplished anything in your life. And you're still doing the same thing that you were doing a long time ago. And you're not getting anywhere fast. I think if you're doing something that's not working for you, you might as well, like, you know, if you're doing something, if it's not working out, try something else. Make Maybe get a job. You never know. It might be okay to get a job. Getting a job is smart. <laughs> Okay, so I broke my own rule and talk about my issue on a customer's video, but it's extremely frustrating. I mean, I will explain more on the next video because I plan on doing a video today. Hopefully, I do it today, but I have to do a short today just to balance it out, like I said, because to not skip date, days. So I'm going to balance it out. I'm going to do the short and hopefully I will explain more on the next video. I know you guys, like, I mean, I talk too much and I never stay to one topic. And I jump all over the place. But you guys are used to my nature. Of course, like I was saying, it's clean. In good condition. Let me see if it smells. It doesn't smell. It smells like the <laughs> laundry detergent. You guys know I use crazy stuff to clean my shoes. I mean, I will make my own concoction just to make sure that the shoes on point. Because I do not like to send something that's not in good condition. It's never going to look like it's new, obviously. And use is used regardless of what you do. But at least you can tell it's in good condition. It's not going to be smelly. It's not. And those are lessons that I learned. Treat people the way you want to treat yourself. Treat your merchandise like treat your customer the, one, the way you want to be treated. Because sometimes when we ship crappy stuff... We end up regretting it and we wonder why the customer is not happy or why the customer is feeling some type of way. Guess what? It's because of us. So do the work. I mean, I know it's hard. Unless if you're not going to do the work, just put it like, you know, Aziz and that's it. That's why, I mean, when I first started, I didn't know any better. I started with Aziz and I didn't try any better. Now, I, it's still Aziz. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I would rather do the extra step. That's all. I don't make any promises. I'm not that stupid. I just do the extra step. Uh, because it makes me feel a lot more better. Because it, it has nothing to do with anybody else. It just has to do with me. And you guys know how finicky I am. And how I can be with the whole process. If it's not in good condition, I'm not going to shape it out. So I would rather just cancel the order. Which I am trying really, really, really hard not to. Because when something is not in good condition, I feel some type of way and I'm not going to shape it. And of course, the customer is going to think that I just didn't want to make the sale or it's, too, it's like I agree to the wrong offer. Because sometimes when people make an offer and I discover the, person, the thing is on, not in a condition where I would shape. And it ends up biting me in the butt because the customer thinks that, hey, 
you took the cheap price now why are you canceling the order and i'm like no that's nothing to do with it it's because i didn't like a certain things look you know okay so remember the leather that i usually include although i'm running out of ink so it's a little faded so i have to email the customer and i haven't been good about emailing because i forgot and i keep forgetting so before this is shipped and dropped i have to let the customer know to check the sneaker online and everything like that and if i forget again and sometimes i do i have to make it up to them somehow you know which is not a good thing because well it is a good thing because again i kind of want to be treated a certain way and i don't want to do it to my customers so that's why i try my hardest to make sure everything is on point and if it's not i'm not going to promise anything is going to be special or perfect it's just going to be what it is i just try yeah i know super annoying whenever i do that Ooh. even i don't want to hear the song so whenever i do that it's super annoying So, yeah, I know. I overdid it on the tape again. Big surprise. Okay. So, my next video, I will discuss one paying child support for kids that are not my kids, but that may be my brother, even though we know my brother cannot have kids. But since my brother took them in, I want to... And we don't know for sure. Maybe there was a miracle that happened. So, I will discuss that in a more appropriate setting and not on the customer's video that's like gonna wonder what the f is she talking about seriously is she crazy and you guys know the end product usually look like that i cannot find my other tape this one has none left let's see so i have to figure out where i put my the other tapes so i can tape this box so and the video is getting a little long and I kind of don't want the video to get a life of its own. So this is usually the final product. Of course, you know, I don't like to show the customer's information. So that's why everything is upside down and you cannot see the label, but the label's on top. And this is it. So this is the packaging. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. And if I did, my bad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just messing with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, guys. Thank you. Bye.